What's he looking at, Jan? Uh, oh, no, no, no. Uh, nothing. Uh, no, nothing at all. Code red. Hey, hey, hey. Warning. Code red. They're playing our song. The year is 2004, and comic book hero Hellboy gets his motion picture debut. With a budget of $66 million, Guillermo del Toro directs the monster-smashing demon into a $99.8 million box office success. A good start for an early 2000s superhero film, and with a unique character not affiliated with Marvel or DC Comics, the future for Hellboy on the big screen seemed promising. Now, I was two years old when this movie hit theaters, but I remember watching this as a kid before ever picking up a Hellboy book and loving it. This movie was a great combination at the time of makeup and CGI with brilliant performances by its cast. Ron Perlman as Hellboy and Doug Jones as Abe Sapien made for the perfect creature duo that captivated my young mind. It was a great mix of the superhero cheese that I grew up with, and a good twist of Christian ideology my parents would try to bestow upon me. I mean, we have a demon with a stone hand and massive pistol, and he kills other demons and Nazis. What isn't there to love? Upon rewatch, the original Hellboy movie stands the test of time, but I do say I think there's one even better. A whopping four years later, we receive Hellboy, The Golden Army. Now this movie, due to the success of the first, received a bigger budget of around $85 million and brought in around twice what it was made on, at $168.3 million at the box office. I gotta say, this is my definitive Hellboy movie. It's an amazing combination of grisly horror and comic book cheese. The back and forth and character relationships, as well as very memorable newcomers like Prince Nuwada and Johan Kraus, has cemented Hellboy as a mainstay in the superhero film scene. I can't get over how awesome these creature designs are, and the use of practical makeup just adds to their believability. The Golden Army ends on a great cliffhanger with Liz and Hellboy about to start a family together. So now with two profitable movies and beloved characters, one might anticipate for the end of a trilogy and maybe another few years to unfold. But sadly, as we know, that never happened. A Hellboy 3 was pitched, but ultimately was considered by the studio to be unprofitable due to the box office earnings of the previous two. Del Toro also was requesting an estimated $200 million budget for his third installment. Now that seems like a lot of money, but considering the massive budgets of Hollywood flops nowadays, it seems like a necessary risk that unfortunately never came to fruition. So it seemed Hellboy's time on the big screen was dead in the water. It would be an astounding 11 years before a new Hellboy movie would grace our eyes. Between the years 2008 and 2019, we did receive two animated Hellboy feature films, Sword of Storms in 2006 and Blood and Iron in 2007. Now these movies would receive less than adequate reviews critically, and would also halt the going forward of future Hellboy animated adventures. Which is sad because I think an animated series by HBO, much like Spawn, would have been incredible. So with two movies that Hellboy fans love, and a couple animated movies that some are iffy on, 2019's Hellboy reboot had a lot riding on its shoulders. This film would be the movie to plunge Hellboy back into the mainstream with a brand new rated R tone, and popular leading man and Stranger Things star David Harbour was the demon hero himself. Now I remember when the trailer for this movie came out, and I was very optimistic. I thought David Harbour looked amazing as Hellboy, and my teenage angst was excited to finally see blood and gore in my Hellboy movies. I went to see the movie with my father on release day, and boy, it was a letdown. I did appreciate the scope of what they were trying to do, but the movie was way overstuffed with parts of famous Hellboy stories, and ultimately felt sloppy. And that says something, since a whole part of my YouTube channel, well, my main YouTube channel, is dedicated to a low-budget superhero spoof, Shared Universe. Y'all should go check it out. Anyways, Hellboy 2019 had a $50 million budget and just barely made it back with a sad $55 million box office earning. It would be safe to say that Hellboy's time on the big screen was now officially dead in the water, with a movie hated by fans and critics alike. Until five years later, when we are jump scared by a brand new Hellboy movie trailer. <laughs> I woke up and was browsing Twitter in bed, and saw a new Hellboy movie titled The Crooked Man was apparently coming to theaters this year. I verbally said, what the fuck, and clicked on that shit. I was shocked to see another live action reboot of the character, and shocked again to see that it looked like a straight to sci-fi channel movie with the budget of a school play. I mean, Hellboy doesn't even have yellow eyes for this movie, and the trailer barely focuses on him. This new adaptation has actor Jack Casey as Red himself, 
And that's all the makeup team could afford because it seems to be a movie of just Hellboy versus the Crooked Man in the middle of the woods. Now, I can forgive the film's looks due to budget restrictions. I mean, I love that shitty Winnie the Pooh slasher universe and the old school Friday the 13th movies. So even though I agreed with everyone else that it looks like shit, I'm still looking forward to it. If this movie releases in theaters and not straight to the $5 bin at Walmart, I'll be there day one. The Crooked Man is a creature I'm only familiar with due to the Conjuring movies, and to see Hellboy go up against him is something I didn't have on my bucket list, but I'm oddly interested in it. And based off the trailer, I don't have a solid opinion on Jack Kesey as Hellboy yet, but he's got an interesting look for it. It's also fresh to see a Hellboy film with a straight horror, haunting vibe over the more action-packed films we've previously received. I mean, most of the footage shown in the trailer gave classic ghost slash possession movie energy. I just hope Hellboy unloads the good Samaritan to the crooked man's face, cause I'm interested to see how the fuck these two will throw down. But yeah, I guess what I'm trying to get at is, Hellboy has a very interesting history with movies that only seems to decline ever since Del Toro was denied his rightful trilogy. I hope one day Hellboy reaches out of the grave and climbs the ladder back on top, but for now we'll have to wait and see how the Crooked Man fares this year. I might even post a review about it if this video here receives positive engagement. But yeah, I might be the only one looking forward to more Hellboy. And you know, I'm a big movie buff, and I like to make more videos like this with other characters and franchises I'm a fan of. Y'all let me know in the comments how you feel about the upcoming Hellboy movie, and leave your suggestions on your ideal Hellboy movie, and if you want to see more videos like this. Till then, I hope you all have a great day. What are you laughing at, you Nazi son of a- <laughs>